Hey guys, what's up? Me, Quench Bricks, and I'm here doing Brick Cascade update number five, I believe it is. And just want to say that we probably won't get to ten before the convention because tomorrow is Friday, and that means I'm going to Maui, and um, that's gonna be for mid winter break or my mid winter break. I don't know when yours is, but that's where I'm going. I'll be back. Um, hopefully, there's a Lego store there. That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, I'll be going on that vacation, so you won't see any activity, so this is probably the last video you'll see uploaded for about a week. But, um, I'm probably gonna make another video today, probably a Clone Army Custom Helmet review. That's why I have, um, those guys right there. Yeah, so I'll probably do that review and then upload that, like, right as I, um, get back. So, what's been going on? Well, I'm working on some mocks. Got one here, one here. Um, this one's kind of like a, um, not apocalypse, modern day war kind of thing. You know, you got the destroyed buildings. You know, I'm going to basically have, like, some soldiers mar marching through there. I got, like, a pretty nice little rock there. And then this other one is just, I'm going to have a building. And those bricks are just to kind of outline something. Uh, mess down here. Actually, the w reason I actually, I, at first this was going to be like a complete building, but then, um, th that piece down there fell off, like, as I, because it was sitting down there and I picked up the mock, and that piece fell off, and I was like, hmm, I could make a, kind of a corner damage, so, that's what I did there, and then what I do here is I built up like half a building, then I put like a fake, kind of like, destroyed roof, then I kind of just pressed it down. I hit it with my hand. So it made it look natural. I didn't like set it there. So yeah, it's kind of just setting there. So like if I did this, like I attach it here. Like that. And then I just do that. It looks a little bit better. So yeah, um, Brick Cascade update. Um, my prints. I ordered parts to do. So right now, the colors that are in production or will be for sure at Bricks Cascade will be these colors and then let me set down the camera and then these colors so these colors will be for sure available at Bricks Cascade and then I'm pretty sure if I can remember I ordered parts to do these so yeah, those will hopefully be the colors that I'll be taking to Bricks Cascade. I'll have a hundred of those. I'll have fifty um, with flesh necks, and then fifty with the green necks. So yeah, that's kind of I just kind of split it up. Um, I my mom gave me something for Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. If I I don't think I said that, but um, she gave me a Lego friend set, just kind of as a joke because it's Valentine's Day. Um, it was like this like series one kind of thing. And then she gave me, like, there's a Hobbit battle pack that she recognized that had some good sloping parts. So I'm glad she recognized that. But here are what I got. So I got some plates. I actually got some nice pieces. I got, like, some dark tan one by one. Some other dark tan pieces. Um, I got some cheese slopes. I got some little plates. I got a lot of these. Um, really good detailing pieces. So, yeah. That's what I got. And then I also got a... The Avengers, it's the book, even though I've seen the movie. I mean, great movie. I mean, my top three movies right now is The Avengers, Batman, all the Batmans, and then Tron. I actually just watched Tron, but every time I go on TV and I see it, it always starts in the middle, and that's always annoying, so I haven't seen the beginning, but I'll probably see that. Also, best scene in Tron, this is my opinion, is the um, nightclub scene. So just type in... Um, on YouTube if you want to see that scene is um just go to YouTube search in Tron club um bar battle bar scene and it's a really great scene. Um also I'm working on building that um Captain Rex set this one. Um yeah I've been lazy. And then I got that set to build and yeah. Um I also am building this BrickCon exclusive set. Um those are some symbols. I did a little teaser picture, so this is what it's for. It's like a tree, and this is what it is, actually. That. Because it was the 10th anniversary, so that's awesome. Um, got another box to package stuff in. Uh, oh, yeah, I 
kind of restocked in colored plate lockers. So now I have yellow, um, blue and white, blue, pink, dark green, light green, red, black, and then just the clear kind of white. Um, I'm going to have to get more poly bags. These are kind of my bins for the convention. These will be for pre-made figures. I got this for bags. Restock on plate lockers. These are some prototype defects. I might give this away. You can ask me. Um, then this bin is my, um, like, to make figures, like, how I make products. And it's really empty. So, like, in this bin, we got, it's like that. Um, we got, like, what do we have in here? We have some miscellaneous brick arms guns. We got some mini for cat vests. We got some parts for a secret project. So those are, like, weapons and gear. As I said, they're, it's all pretty empty. And then here's, like, minifigure parts. So we got some, like, printed belt pieces, printed legs, heads, braids, breasts, whatever you want to call them. So, yeah, that's really all what's in there. But then I got all these plate lockers. These are all done. That's about 20 of them, and I have a bunch more to package up. And then I'm taking all these cases. Now you might be wondering why these crappy kind of cases. I really don't like these cases. Um, I love Stanley cases. Get Stanley cases. And, um... I'm bringing those because when I do, I'm going to do bulk, which is when they dump out huge bins of Lego um, out on the floor and you get to pick it and it's about $8 a pound or $10 for like Bionicles and Technic. And that's really cheap. So that's for like if I'm bored um, behind my stand and it's like one in the morning or something, I can just sort it. So yeah. Over here we got Operation Takedown Pack. So this is the finished pack. Probably already showed you that, but yeah, got three of those. One for Will Chapman, owner of Brick Arms, awesome guy. And then um, Ryan and Aaron, those people on Flickr. Um, I got my badge. Um, here are like some Brownings, um, RPGs. Here are the modern combat figures, the Halo figures, all the pre made figures in there. And then we got like Germans. And then breachers so yeah and I made some cards like cuz I'm gonna be selling these on stands on that but like see how I have a card for this guy and I'll be selling that in like one of these bins down here um, I made cards for some of the figures like I made some for the Germans these are for breachers so yeah I made those in case it gets a little too crazy on the public days and I can just stick them in there um, okay, my camera's on five, five minutes left. That's another mock I'm working on. Check my Flickr for mocks. That's definitely a good thing you should do. And I'm working on designing some more prints. I want to do some modern prints, so we'll see how that goes out. And that's pretty much it, guys. Bunch of brick arms. So, yeah. I will see you guys later. See ya. Have a nice midwinter break if you have it. See ya.